So my name's Morgan Mac Rose. I'm school board president. I'm a parent, and I'm a product of the California public education system. That's right. Oh yeah. I went to school in 1977 when we were spending $200 over the national average per pupil. And then I went on, and I went to a JC, which was fabulous, and I went on to UC Santa Cruz. California public education at the time, when I entered school, was one of the best systems, not only in the country, but in the world. So what happened? Well, in 1978, Prop 13 passed, and ever since then, we've been on a downward slide. Ever since then, with the exception of 79 and 80, we have spent below the national average per pupil. Last year, we sunk all the way down to $2,580 less per pupil than the national average. That's not even less than the highest. That's less than the national average. Bringing us back down from 14th in the nation to 46th in the nation. 46th. I think we're squeaking in right above Louisiana and Mississippi, but 46. And yet we have some of the highest standards in the country and the lowest pure, pure pupil funding. And so, but what's happened in the last four years is pretty phenomenal. This is my daughter, Ella. She's in fourth grade now. When she started kindergarten, there were 20 students in her class. There was a librarian at her school. She had a specialist teaching PE twice a week. Fifth graders enjoyed instrumental music lessons twice a week. And that was after all these cuts the schools have been suffering for years. But we still held on to that. This year, my daughter Maisie started kindergarten. Aww. Yeah, she's cute. <laughs> but she's in a classroom with 28 kindergartners. And next year, it will be 32. Next year, she'll only have one hour a week of PE with a specialist. There will be no librarian at her school. And you know, people say this is a tough time to be a teacher, and it is, but it is a crummy time to be a kid. It's a really crummy time to be a kid. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting, you know, Tom said there are 37 legislators who are blocking any kind of progress towards a sensible budget. And I'm willing to bet that most of them are the product of California public schools, but I bet none of their kids are in public schools. I bet very few of our legislators' kids are in public schools, which I think has consequences. So I'm gonna suggest something a little radical because there's a lot to lose and so I think we have to stick our neck out there. I'm gonna suggest, you know what? Don't bother writing those legislators because they don't listen to us. They listen to big money. That's who they listen to. So I'm going to suggest write the top 10 corporations in California. Write Chevron, write HP, write Hewlett, uh, well, I said Hewlett Packard, Intel, write Safeway. Because while they all donate to the community, it is a minuscule portion of the tax benefit they receive because of Prop 13 and the way it treats corporations in this state. If we fix that, we probably wouldn't be here right now. I'd also like you to encourage you to contact AARP. AARP is one of the strongest lobbyists in the country. That's the American Association of Retired People. They need to know if we don't have an educated citizenry that's out there getting jobs and paying taxes, who's going to pay for Medicare? You know, this is the most short-sighted political agenda I have ever seen. And if you value the dollar, that's fine. Invest your dollar now so that you'll have something later. I want to live in a state that values kids over shareholder dividends because this is just unacceptable. Thank you.